Okay, so G3. Um, this problem is uh, the kind of problem that you should be keeping your fingers crossed and hoping comes up on the exam because this is going to this is ultimately in fact a write down the pipe straight interpretation of the gradient vector. So in particular, now there's this little physical story about temperature and stuff, right? But you've got a function and the problem is saying in what direction what's the direction of fastest increase? And the answer is the gradient vector. That's always the case. If your direction of fastest increase for a function, gradient vector. Uh, now, you, you want to find the direction of the gradient vector. So typically, we'll take the gradient vector and divide it by its own length uh, so that we get a unit vector describing, therefore, a direction. Um, but it's always that same strategy. Uh, and then now, look, look at the next part of the question. What's the rate of change of temperature with respect to distance traveled in that direction? Well, what that says is, uh, what is the unit directional derivative in that direction? And that's also another straight up right down the pipe interpretation of gradient. The length of the gradient vector is always the answer to that question. Let me just remind you. Um, so, um, so the direction of fastest increase is always the gradient vector. And then we normalize it just, you know, to make that a direction. Um, Um, so the rate of change in that direction, it's the unit directional derivative, let's call this u, it's the unit directional derivative of the function in that direction, which, uh, this calculation is in the, in the book there, but uh, this is, of course, uh, gradient dot u, which is gradient dot gradient over the length of the gradient, which is Great length squared divided by length, which is the length of the gradient. So the direction of the gradient is the answer to the first part, and the length of the gradient is the answer to the second part. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, because they're asking at the origin. That's right. So you're going to take this, this t function. You're going to compute the gradient. And uh, there's uh, some algebra in here. I'm going to let you do the algebra. Right? But you're going to compute the partial of t with respect to x, partial t with respect to y, partial t with respect to z. You know, crank out the algebra there. And, and then plug in, in particular, you're interested in the gradient of t uh, at the origin. Yep, there you go. Yep. Does that make sense to everybody else? Okay. By the way, you'll, you will notice that, I mean, there's a lot of uh, old problems on my old exam that, that are pretty much exactly like this. And that's not to say that they always will be, uh, but uh, it's been done. I'll